about this video and then it didn't save so I'm shooting it again <laughs> Oh, hi guys. So I have been away uh, for May, just uh, working behind the scenes, catching up on life and everything since April was really, really wonderful and really intense. Uh, I may actually slow down on the frequency at which I put out videos. I am working very diligently behind the scenes. I'm focusing more on going out and doing work within the community and I'm focusing more on my writing and a bunch of other passion projects that I have just not been able to do. They've just, I've just so I'm making time for them because if I don't make time for them they won't happen. So I am probably going to cut back on the frequency of the videos. I hope you guys stick with me anyway. It'll be more important that you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon since they won't be each and every Wednesday anymore. That way you don't miss them when they come out. Or you can subscribe at NeuroDivergentRebel.com as well because then you get all of the updates uh, including the writing. Uh, so let me dive on in and talk about this week or this this topic which is autism and gluten-free diets. And as an autistic person who has a gluten sensitivity, I feel I am uniquely qualified to discuss this in depth. So there is a misconception that a gluten-free diet may help autism. No, we rewind a little bit. Some autistic people who specifically have a gluten intolerance, like I do, and not all of us have this issue, can benefit because, of course, it's like, you know, if someone has a food allergy and they're eating that food and you remove it, they're going to get healthier. For me, when I eat gluten, I'm going to spend a lot of time in the bathroom or thinking about the bathroom or wondering where the bathroom is or just in pain because my stomach and my digestive system is burning and twisting and is in knots and I may be nauseous and I'm just really not feeling good. Nobody is pleasant to be around when they're not feeling well. So if the autistic person in your life is more pleasant to be around when they're on the gluten-free diet because they have a gluten sensitivity, it's not that they're less autistic. It's just that they're feeling good. And of course, if you're feeling well, you're at your best. So those are my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll stick with me and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys.